So one of the things that I was going to explain about my long title and why I like it, kind of going back to that for a minute, is that it, that fed, the federal government mm-hmm. um, um, and certain cities um, are, and frankly, higher education, mm-hmm. uh, uni- certain universities, mm-hmm. are really setting the pace, you know, uh, set, uh, uh, continuously um, up, increasing the, the level or, or the bar, I guess, for what is uh, high performance. Mm-hmm. So what's exciting about the two industry verticals that I'm most focused in is that they happen to be some of the most progressive in terms of sustainability and high performance mm-hmm. requirements. So it's great to be able to work with, let's say, the GSA or uh, who, you know who's moving toward moving down this path of deep energy retrofits for their existing office buildings. Mm-hmm. Very important, right? And how do you do that? You know, kind of over time, make them continue to perform <clears throat> over time. Um, the DOD is, uh, has a lot of net zero mm-hmm. initiatives, not just net zero energy, but net zero water, net zero carbon. And also, I mean, those military bases are like many cities. So if you can do it there, mm-hmm. um, right. why, we ought to be able to do it right. in, you know, in, a, in, in a city or a part of a city or certainly on a higher ed campus. So it's, um, so it's an example of uh, government as innovator. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, sort of walking the talk proving what's possible. Yep. I think it's uh, it's exciting to, to do that. And then uh, universities really, from a research and from an ability to track students that are more and more interested in sustainability, uh, both in terms of getting that into their curriculums and, the, and into their um, DNA as mm. uh, young professionals, but also they expect to see the university walking the talk and not just... That's uh, right. Not just kind of teaching it, but, right. but walking it. So <clears throat> it's exciting to work with universities, and uh, you know that are really stretching. Yes. You know, stretching themselves, stretching their students, and using their their facilities and everything around on the campus as a living lab. Yes. So. Living lab. 